our area's finest students meet head to head in a challenge of knowledge to win thousands of dollars in college scholarships. This is Mind Grind. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Mind Grind here on WNEP TV. I'm John Kasich for Frank Andrews this week, and have we got a show for you tonight. This is the first of our two semifinal matchup featuring Hazleton area versus Athens area. These two teams have been here twice before and they've held off the competition on those occasions. Tonight, however, they're going to go head to head as they battle for the more than $10,000 in scholarship money, which is up for grabs here on the mine grind. We have the questions, we have the crowds. We have the crowds? Yes, we have the crowds. Let's meet the players. Starting it off for our greed team, Hazleton area, we have Jay Wetterau. Jay is a senior, a national merit commended student and plans to major in political science or pre-law. Next to Jay, we have Rebecca Sirio. Rebecca is a junior and was awarded the Platinum President Academic Fitness Award. She plans to become a biochemist. Then we have Sean Gresh, our team captain. Sean is a senior. He is a four-year member of Who's Who and plans to attend law school and study corporate law. On the end, we have senior Mark Kostick. He is a member of Who's Who and the National Honor Society and the Spanish National Honor Society. He plans to become an engineer and loves baseball. Our alternate for Hazleton area is senior Jane Kokinda, and she is our alternate tonight. They have their own cheerleading section ready to cheer them on as they take on our purple team from Athens area. Starting it off for our purple team, we have Chris Grilly. Chris is a junior, a member of the indoor-outdoor track team and band. He plans to become an aeronautical engineer, and he enjoys card collecting. Next to Chris, we have Matt Novak, our team captain. Matt is a senior, has received the Bausch & Lomb Science Award. He plans to become a physician and has had the highest average in grades 9 through 11. Next to Matt, we have Josh Holslander. He is a junior and is a member of the National Honor Society and quiz team. He plans to become an architect. And here on the end, Annie Lee. Annie is a junior, has received awards in math, writing, forensics, and piano. She plans to become a physician. Our alternate for Athens area is Elizabeth Felter. Our judges for tonight's contact. Dr. Edmund Leporowski of the English Department of King's College and Michael Berry, the Theater and Speech Department of King's. Now, having got the introductions out of the way, we're going to take a break, and when we come back, we're going to begin round one of action here on the Mind Grind. <laughs> will take you where you want to be. Ah, uh, Wilkes University, take charge of your future. Wilkes. I'm Mike Stevens. If there's one certainty, it's change, and I think it important to log the comings and goings that change creates. So, join me on the Pennsylvania Road for a look at one-of-a-kind people and places. People moving on, places that used to be, the past now part of the present. One of a kind people and places along the Pennsylvania Road and News Watch 16 special assignment all next week at 6, only on WNEP TV, the news station. Welcome back to the Mind Grind here on WNEP TV. I'm John Castle. We mentioned our cheering section from Hazleton, not to be outdone. Athens area has their own cheering section here today, ready to cheer the team on. As we mentioned, each of these two teams has been here before, so for their benefit and for the benefit of those of you at home, let's quickly run down the rules here on the mind grind. We're going to start it off with a toss-up question. That's going to be worth 10 points. When you think you know the answer, buzz in. If you interrupt me uh, before I finish reading the question and you get the answer wrong, you're going to lose five points. If you get it wrong, it automatically goes over to the other team. If you get it right, you get a shot at a 20-point bonus question. We have two rounds with bonus questions and a speed round at the end. So with that all out of the way, let's get it done with our first toss-up question here in round one. The most sacred part of any religious building, it was also considered a place of refuge from which a fugitive could not be taken. What is it, Josh? Sanctuary. This is true. Correct. You got a bonus question? Now remember, in a bonus question, you may consult with your teammates, but you have to answer before that bell rings, and the captain must be the one to answer the question. Name the three largest African nations that border on the Mediterranean Sea. Libya, Algeria, and Egypt. That is correct. 
A toss-up question. The goldfish is a species of which fish? Chris. Carp. That is correct. Our 20-point bonus question. The Bobby Jones Award is given annually by the United States Golf Association for which trait? Personality. Sportsmanship. Sorry, Matt. A tall 10-point toss-up question next. Billy the Kid committed his dastardly deeds in New Mexico. Sean. New Mexico. New Mexico is correct. The 10 points there. Agleton gets their first shot at a bonus question. Name the three specific structures in Paris, San Francisco, and New York on the list of modern wonders. The Eiffel Tower, the Golden Gate Bridge, and the Empire State Building? That is correct. <laughs> Ten point toss up question next. How many pins are left standing when a bowler scores a spare? Mark. That is correct for 10 points. Our bonus question, raw silk is obtained from the cocoon of the silkworm. Japan and China are two countries known for the production of silk. Name at least one other chief silk producing nation. India. India is correct. Korea, Italy, and Russia are the others. A 10 point toss up question. Diane Warwick, friends, psychic friends here. A 10 point toss up question. Tom Ridge was sworn in as the 43rd governor of Pennsylvania. Name his lieutenant governor. Sean. Not enough time. Athens area. Lieutenant governor in this case would be Mark Schweiker. Mark Schweiker is lieutenant governor. Toss-up question, what Asian country is the original home of the peach tree? Rebecca. China. China is correct for 10 points. Our bonus question, name the three types of colonies that were set up in America during the colonial period. Proprietary, charter, and royal. Uh, judges. We're going to say no on that. Corporate or commercial would have been the third one we were looking for. A 10-point toss-up question. Who wrote the play Measure for Measure? Mark. Tennessee Williams. That is incorrect. Hey. Athens area, your chance. No clue. Shakespeare. Shakespeare wrote Measure for Measure. Ten-point toss-up. Which of these football stadiums has a capacity of over 100,000 people? Sean. Sure. That is incorrect. That's a deduction of five points. Athens area has a chance. Let me read the question. Uh, which of these football stadiums has a capacity of over 100,000? The Cotton Bowl, the Rose Bowl, the Sugar Bowl. Chris. Rose Bowl. The Rose Bowl is correct for ten points. A bonus question to Athens area. In what body of water is the island of Bahrain? Persian Gulf. Persian Gulf is correct for 20 points. Our toss-up question for current events. As we mentioned, Lieutenant Governor Mark Schweiker was sworn in uh, recently in January. He was sworn in in the state senate chambers. Was it because he is a former state senator? As Lieutenant Governor, he'll serve as the president of the state senate, or it was too cold to be sworn in outside. Josh. You will serve as president of the state senate? That is correct, for 10 points. <laughs> a bonus question for Athens area. Arrange these engineering feats in chronological order. Stonehenge, Brooklyn Bridge, Taj Mahal, and the Great Wall of China. Oh, we'll go with uh, Taj Mahal, Great Wall, Stonehenge, and uh, Brooklyn Bridge. Incorrect. Stonehenge, Great Wall, Taj Mahal, then the Brooklyn Bridge. Ten point toss up question. What branch of chemistry studies compounds obtained from minerals? Annie. Organic chemistry. Judges? That is incorrect. Inorganic chemistry is the answer on this one. Ten point toss up question. Which parade takes place in New York City in March of every year? 
Sean. With a name like Sean, I'd expect you to get it. Bonus, <laughs> 10 points there. You get a bonus question. Eight of the Ten Commandments are expressed as negative commands. That is, thou shalt not. Give me the two commandments which are expressed as affirmative obligations. Keep holy the Sabbath day and honor thy father and thy mother. That is correct for 20 points. A toss-up question from Karen Events. Some called her the matriarch of a political dynasty. Her lone... Josh. Rose Kennedy. That is correct for 10 points. <laughs> that is a bonus. The buzzer signals the end of the first round, but you'll get the bonus question for the answer or the correct on the toss-up. What are the bones called that make up human fingers and toes? Phalanges. That is correct for 20 points. And with that, we will end the first round of competition here on the Mind Grind with Athens area 110 to 95 for Hazleton. It's a tight game. Here's some information you might find interesting about Hazleton area. Welcome to Hazleton Area High School. Only three years old, Hazleton Area has already made a well-respected name for itself in scholastics and athletics. Great emphasis is placed on career awareness, giving students the opportunity to explore various career paths, helping them to develop independence and responsibility. The student body and faculty are proud to be represented by the gifted students in the 1994 Mind Grind. Working together, we have the knowledge and ability to build a better tomorrow. Come sail away with Kupfa Seafood. We'll take you on a voyage of great taste. Come sail away with Kupfa Seafood. Bring your family great food and adventure. There's something for everyone. Sail, Come sail with Kupfa Seafood. will take you where you want to be. Ah, uh, Wilkes University, take charge of your future. Wilkes. Our WNEP weather team is in a class by itself. Well, not exactly. Over 1,500 classrooms throughout Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania are learning about weather through the WNEP Weather School. Classrooms receive computer programs, study guides, bulletin boards, and equipment for a classroom weather center. Right now, we're adding 100 new classrooms to our weather school network. If your school would like to join, write to WNEP TV Weather School, care of WNEP TV 16. Welcome back to the Mind Grind here on WNEP TV. It is a very close matchup. Athens area leading 110 to 95. In the first round, we were neglect neglecting to give Hazleton area a chance to answer an incorrect toss up question. So, for that reason, we're going to correct that now by giving them a toss up question directed only at Hazleton area. If they get it right, they have the chance at a bonus question. Toss up question What is missing from a navel oranges? Mark. Seeds. Seeds is correct. For 10 points, you get the shot at a bonus question. When the U.S. Constitution was written, each delegate to the House of Representatives was to represent how many citizens? 30,000, 60,000, 90,000, or 120,000? 30,000. 30,000 is correct. Sean. <laughs> Toss-up question. In sports, what is the first NASCAR Winston Cup race every year? Sean. Daytona 500. Daytona 500 is correct. It takes place in February. <laughs> 10 points. <laughs> Bonus question. The Arlington National Cemetery is now located on the grounds formerly the property of what great American general? Robert E. Lee. Robert E. Lee is correct. <laughs> Toss-up question. John Hancock's is the first signature on the Declaration of Independence. Whose is the first signature on the Constitution? Mark. Gouverneur Morris. That is incorrect. George Washington's is. And that was a bonus question, I'm sorry. Uh, toss-up question, that was not a bonus question, that was a toss-up question, uh, so that we will then have a toss-up question directed only to 
uh, Athens area to correct that. What is Benjamin Franklin's best known optical invention? Chris. Monocle. I'm sorry? Monocle. That is incorrect. That is a bifocals. Now we will go on with the straightforward toss-up question available to both teams for 10 points. In current events, a Florida jury recommended the death penalty for a former minister, Paul Hill, who was convicted in the June killings of John Bayard Britton, a doctor who specialized in what procedure? Sean. Abortion. Abortion is correct for 10 points. A bonus question. Which of the following four compounds will not dissolve in water? Sodium iodide, hydrogen, chloride, methane, or ammonia? Sodium iodide? That is incorrect. Methane is the answer. A toss-up question also from sports. What major league baseball player is close to breaking Lou Gehrig's consecutive games? Chris? Cal Ripken. Cal Ripken Jr. is correct. Consecutive blank games of 2130. A bonus question to Athens area. Two items are used in the pseudoscience of numerology to reveal character and the past and the future. One item is the person's name. What is the other? Age. Uh, judges, that is incorrect. Birth date itself is what we're looking for. Toss-up question. What do we call a microscope's ability to deliver a clear image? Rebecca. Resolution, Resolution is correct for 10 points. Bonus question to Hazleton. What phenomena allows insects to walk on water? Water tension, surface tension. That is correct for 20 points. A toss-up question. Which city boasts the largest Thanksgiving Day parade which has been held there annually since 1926, Josh? New York City. New York City is correct. Bonus question. Among the new cardinals appointed by Pope John Paul II are some from nations where the church is still operating under communism. Name these two nations. Albania and Romania. Uh, that is incorrect. Vietnam and Cuba, we were looking for on that. Toss up question. In his State of the Union speech, President Clinton talked of raising the minimum wage. What is the current? Josh. 425 an hour. 425 an hour is correct. <laughs> Bonus question. Highly developed animals use their ears for two important functions. One, of course, is hearing. What is the other? Balance. To maintain balance is correct. <laughs> Toss up question. Also from Karen Events. The day after his State of the Union address, President Clinton came to what local. <laughs> Mark. Kutztown. Kutztown University is correct. <laughs> 20-point bonus question. Besides the U.S. Treasury, what's the only other agency that can legally issue currency? The Federal Reserve Bank. The Federal Reserve System is correct. <laughs> Toss up. The same word is something a fisherman looks for, a batter doesn't want, a union mayor. Chris. A strike. A strike is correct. 20-point bonus question. Give me the name for the type of weather front that forms the boundary beyond air masses that have temporarily stopped moving. Stationary. Stationary front is correct. 10-point <laughs> toss-up question. One of the most common and serious football injuries is a ruptured medial collateral ligament. Is it a shoulder? Elb Sean. Knee. Knee is correct for 10 points. 20-point bonus question. Which of the following composers wrote fewer than nine symphonies? Brahms, Beethoven, Dvorak, Mahler, or Shostakovich? Mahler? Uh, incorrect. The answer is Brahms. We're looking for on that one. 10-point toss-up question from current events. When a January 17th earthquake rocked Japan, killing more than 5,000 people, Josh. Kobe. Kobe is correct. This Japanese city was the hardest hit. Bonus question. Translate the Italian word pizza into English. Pie. Pie is correct for 20 points. <laughs> 10 point toss up question from sports. What's called the first jewel of racing's triple crown? Sean. The Kentucky Derby. The Kentucky Derby is correct. <laughs> Bonus question. Also from sports, which baseball team plays at Jacobs Field? Cleveland Indians. Cleveland Indians is correct. They just opened that field in 1994. <laughs> Toss-up question. In the hierarchy of the Roman Catholic Church, what office is immediately below that of the Pope? Sean. Cardinal of the Vatican. Cardinal is correct. 
Colonel. You'll be the right answer. We have a bonus question for 20 points. How many gallons are there in 7.570 liters? Two. Two is the correct answer, and that buzzer signals the end of the second round. We're going to take a break. Right now, we have 295 for Hazleton, 220 for Athens. When we come back, we're going to have the speed round. Here's some important information you might want to know about Athens area. Stay with us. Athens Area High School is situated in a small growing community in northeastern Pennsylvania where students can enjoy a wide variety of curriculum, sports, clubs, and arts. The district's athletic programs have made tremendous advances with its championship track team, playoff contending football team, and improved sports facilities. Last year's quiz team won the scholarship challenge, including the coveted cup and a $2,000 scholarship. Athens Area faculty and administration are proud of all the fine accomplishments of their students. Ah, Wilkes University, take charge of your future. Your solution for quality and affordable education. Knowledge, fun, power, success. Wilkes will take you where you want to be. Ah, Wilkes University, take charge of your future. You dreamed of owning one. Now you can win one. It's WNEP TV's Great Explorer Giveaway. Your Quality Plus Ford dealers promised new adventures lie ahead. Explore the great outdoors and have peace of mind in America's favorite sport utility vehicle. To enter, watch any Newswatch 16 newscast. Write down any four places to explore clues and send them on a postcard to Great Explorer Giveaway. WNEP TV, 16 Montage Mountain Road, Moosic, Pennsylvania, 18507. And now, WNEP-TV in your neighborhood. What do an egg beater, an old-fashioned foot warmer, and a train have in common? They're all part of the Children's Discovery Workshop exhibit at the YMCA in Williamsport. The exhibit called Then and Now has lots of things that children can touch and play with. So bring your kids down for the afternoon. They're open every day except for Monday from now until March 31st. I'm Stacy Fry in your neighborhood. Welcome back to the Mind Grind here on WNEP TV. Hazleton is in the lead. We're heading into the third and final round. This is a speed round. All questions are 10 point toss up question. We remind the audience to hold their applause to the end. Having said that, we'll begin with our first question. In geometry, what kind of line can be drawn through a plane figure so that the figure on one side is a reflection image? Josh. Axis? Uh, no. Axis. Uh, Judges? No. Uh, Hazleton. Mark. A line of symmetry. Line of symmetry is correct for 10. It's also a question, how do you spell paper mache? Mark. P-A-P-I-E-R-M-A-C-H-E. Correct, for 10. Toss up question, what is a study of family descent or pedigree called? J. Genealogy. Genealogy is correct. Toss up, what do we call the transparent part of the eyeball that covers the iris in the pupil? Mark. Cornea. Cornea is correct. Managing the Cleveland Indians for two years, he was the first black manager. Mark. Frank Robinson. Frank Robinson is correct. Pennsylvania Governor Tom Ridge held a special session on the state legislature to deal with what issue? Jay. Welfare reform. Uh, incorrect. Athens area. Uh, the answer we're looking for is crime. Toss up question. Name the holiday during which the Jews relived the plight of the forefathers' exodus from Egypt. Sean. Pentecost. That is incorrect. Athens area. Josh. Passover. Passover is correct. Toss up question. What technique is used to show a picture of a human fetus in the womb? Mark. Ultrasound. Ultrasound is correct. What is the general category of paintings done in the likeness of the faces of persons? Sean. Portraits. Portrait is correct. We recently marked the 22nd anniversary of the Supreme Court decision legalizing abortion. Name that Supreme. Roe versus Wade. Roe versus Wade is correct for 10 points. Dates in history. 87 years elapsed between the Declaration of Independence and Lincoln's mark. Gaysburg Address. Incorrect. Let me read the whole question. 87 years elapsed between the Declaration of Independence and Lincoln's Gettysburg Address. Identify the year of the Gettysburg Address to Athens area. Chris. 1863. Correct. Toss up. An ardent fan of the Beatles might be called a Beatle maniac. What special names do we use for these folks, the fans of Star Trek? Mark. Deadheads. 
Let me ask, ask the book. That's a deduction of five. An ardent fan of the... Trekkers. The Trekkers is correct. Toss up. Who was the only Gentile among the writers of the four Gospels? Sean. Luke. Luke is correct. Was coal formed from decaying animals, crushed rock, volcanic ash, or decaying vegetation? Sean. Decaying vegetation. Decaying vegetation is correct. How do you spell corduroy? Mark. C-O-U-D-E-R-O-Y. Incorrect. Athens area. C-O-U-D-O-R-O-Y. Incorrect. C-O-R-D-U-R-O-Y. Toss up question. The face in the center of an Aztec calendar represents what astral body? Sean. The sun. The sun is correct. In high school basketball, what is the maximum number of times a team may be charged with timeout in regular... Sean. Six. Incorrect. Let me finish the question, deduction of five. In, five. in high school basketball, what is the maximum number of times a team may be charged with timeout in regulation time without incurring a penalty to Athens area? Chris? Three. Uh, incorrect. Five is the answer we were looking for. Toss up. From what grain does plain white flour originate? Sean. Wheat. Wheat is correct. Toss up. Harriet earns $144 a week. If she puts $36 in the bank every week, what part of her paycheck does she save? Chris. 25%. 25% is what, correct. Toss up. Define and spell paradigm. J. It's P-A-R-A-D-I-G-M. Correct. And it's a preconceived idea. Uh, judges, incorrect. To Athens area, your chance. Spelling was correct. It means example on that buzzer marks the end of our competition. And we have a winner, Hazel Tenaria, 390 over 255. We ask you to uh, join us next week for Jim Thorpe versus Pitts Tenaria. For now, for everyone here at the Mind Grind, I'm John Kosick. Thank you for joining us. See you next week.